Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Dre here. Thank you for visiting my video and hopefully my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little bit different in showing my prized possession, my little man cave area, my consoles. Recently I've been glued to Modern Warfare uh, 2, which has been so addicting. But yeah, let's hop right into it. So for my first console I have, I have my Nintendo Switch. I've had it for a couple years and man, I love this thing. I have a lot of Switch games. Here are just some of them. Here is my controller display. I have um, my Nintendo GameCube controller, PS5, N64, and another PS5 controller in the back. Recently, I purchased the Spice Orange. I don't know the name of the GameCube itself, but um, Pumpkin Spice, Spice Orange GameCube off eBay, off a seller, and I bought it for around 130 bucks. Came with the memory card and then the stock controller. My main console I'm using is my Xbox Series S, and this thing is just great. I'm, I'm constantly turning it on and using it every single day. It just runs so efficiently, and it's probably the most powerful and best console I have up and running right now. I do have a couple retro consoles as well. I have the PlayStation Classic. I do have the original PS1, but that's at my parents' house. Uh, an Ambernick console that pretty much emulates PS1 games, N64 games, uh, and GBA games. I have about 6,000 ROMs loaded up in there, so whenever I'm on the go, I usually grab this guy on the go. The old school Sega Genesis 3. I used to play Sonic 3D on this all the time. I don't have an original NES, but I actually won this off an auction at my uh, local game store, East End Gaming. And yeah, I just need to get some NES games and I could just play that seamlessly through that. I have an N64 console and I've been playing some Pokemon Stadium lately. I have two Switch lights. one is my wife's, and I also have these two retro gaming consoles, the Ambernick 351MP and the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. Um, I mean, I already have this guy over here, but honestly, I needed something bigger and these two are very powerful to run um, some N64 games, and yeah, I have some ROMs loaded up on some micro SD cards for these two. I also have this um, Retroid Pocket 2, in which I will be giving away. I will follow up with a video on that shortly. Rio is just photobombing. What are you so curious about, man? Those ears hear everything. I have my PS5 that recently just came in. I had it for about a year and the console freaking broke. I'm not even kidding. The HDMI output was not displaying anything on my TV. So I contacted Sony and I had to pay $248 to get this fixed. So I still have to set this up again, but um, man, I missed a PS5. If I could just choose which console would be best, It'd be this guy over here. Oh yeah, I also have a PS4 that I keep in my room to play Fortnite and other other games that I get on the PS Plus collection. And for nostalgia purposes, I do have a Game Boy Color. It's loaded up with Super Mario Land 2. Man, I really do miss playing this thing. I kind of want to mod it to have a brighter screen, um, but I don't know how to do that. So probably gonna have to look up some tutorials on YouTube for that. I've also recently picked up some GameCube games. I got Luigi's Mansion, FIFA Street, and Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Um, GameCube games are rare and expensive, depending which one you're looking for. I got Luigi's Mansion for about $48, which is pretty standard. I have other games coming in as well, but um, stay tuned for that and my entire GameCube collection that I'm building out. I also have a Nintendo 2DS that has just been <laughs> gathering dust alongside a couple, um, you know, DS and 3DS games as well. I was never interested in purchasing a 3DS. Um, times are a little bit tough, so I ended up buying this guy. And let me tell you, it's an awesome console to own. And again, here are some of my Switch games and some PS4, PS5, as well as some DS games. I also picked up a copy of Kingdom Hearts 3 for free. My gaming store had an excessive amount of them, so they were just passing these out. And I think I'm gonna keep this one sealed because I already have Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, pretty much the whole collection on uh, PS Plus. But yeah, guys, these are some of my consoles that I own and possess. I have other consoles that I keep at my parents' house when I visit them on the weekends. 
But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for a giveaway on the Retroid Pocket 2 that I showed before. And subscribe if you like my content. Until then, happy holidays and all the best.